How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of mystery beer. This one comes courtesy of my boy Max. Dropped off, mailed off, I should say. A big old box old beer. And uh, yeah, this is uh, about the third. Third one uh, mystery beer I've gotten into of uh, the ones he sent off. I think there was like six, six to eight of them, give or take. Um, and that looks like a bunch of different kinds of beer. That could be a double IPA, old school clear double IPA. Um, that could be macro lager for all I know to be Kolsch. It could be a whole bunch of different things. Um, I'm taking the IPA out of it because the carbonation has this kind of like aggressiveness to it. That almost reminds me of like a champagne like carbonation. Um, I'm going to ditch sour because I don't think the head would retain like that from a distance. Just seeing it kind of sit in that carbonation come up. It just doesn't look like macro either. So what is it? I don't know. I don't know. I want to say farmhouse. This is for knee jerk. I want to go like farmhouse, like saison, but it's not hazy enough. Yeah. Anyway, rich amber in color. A uh, bit of a decent head on it. Let's see if we can actually get a nose. Yeah, I mean it. Some smells like from a distance. Somebody's slightly hopped. Farmhouse Kolshi kind of vibe going on here. I don't think it's a lager based off of the nose, even though it is giving me like just a tiniest bit of funk that I would associate with lager as opposed to like a sulfur a sulfur thing. But again, that could be a farmhouse thing at play. It's more of a Kolshi ale kind of vibe. Very much fruity, um, fruity esters, um, not necessarily fruit additions in there. Mm. I wanna go farmhouse on this, man. This has gotta be somebody's kind of like, a, like maybe some kind of kind of somebody's like fuck duggery version of a farmhouse ale, like a like um like a farmhouse Kolsch or farmhouse Pilsner, or farmhouse lager. Like they're doing, uh, giving a beer a lager treatment while using a yeast that can also be kind of farmhousey and it's kind of vibes, or it could be mixed culture, or it could be macro lager. To be perfectly honest with you, let's actually just dive right in. Cheers. What is that? I've had that before. Uh, it's bitter. What is that? It drinks all the parts of macro. All the parts of macro lager. But there's this bittering component to it. This bittering pop to it. Yeah, everything on the nose. I was getting these kind of subtle kind of what I was uh, attributing to like a farmhousey vibe with this like slightly peppery kind of thing going on. When I dove right into this, it, it, it has the mouthfeel. It has the taste. And by taste, I mean, there, there's like a corn kind of vibe to it. But there's a bittering to it that just I don't get. In a lot of macro beers. Man, this is a hard one. Because I really do want to lean heavily into a macro beer here, but but it there's so much bittering on this that I think it's gonna be some brewery's like version of a macro lager, but they just couldn't help but hop addition it like they normally would. So that's where I'm getting that additional bitterness from. It's really kind of, I have to decide in which direction I have to go. Yeah, this is tough. Because the mouthfeel, the heft of it, and a little bit of corny vibes, just a slight bit of corny vibes, makes me want to go in a macro direction. But there's nothing as far as negative off flavor on it. And the bittering's big, so it makes me want to go to the other direction. It makes me want to go, okay, a craft brewery making a macro-ish kind of lager kind of vibe, even though it's a little bit darker. Is this how somebody's... See, I should, I'm all over the place on this. Okay. Here we go. We're cutting to the chase. Put the old everything on the table. This is actually what this is, is somebody's 5.2% Vienna lager. Yeah. 5.2% Vienna Lager. Done and done. Let's see how wrong I am. 
Because it just, it's got to be. Because I, I, I kept focusing on the mouthfeel. I kept focusing on the taste. And uh, it's Fox Farm, actually. And uh, I just, it's, it's, it's their Vienna Lager. I've never had it before, but it's got to be. Okay, Keller beer, fine. Close enough for me. Um, yeah, it, it, it was weird because Franconian style log, uh, Keller beer. 5.6%, so I was 0.4% off. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, and, and, and the first thing I want to say is me kind of associating this beer with a macro lager I don't think is a huge knock against Fox Farm or anybody who does that kind of stuff because honestly, those beers, while not the best beers in the history of mankind, do have a lack of negative off flavors and they usually end up relatively clean. The mouthfeel on this, what if I gotta, I'm gonna look it up. I never do this on there, but I wanna see if there's a specific Franconian Keller beer. Is, is Franconian Keller beer just like saying Keller beer? I think it is. Let's see what the internet says. I'll never do this. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what I thought of. So it's like Keller beer comes from Franconia. That's why I was like, wait a minute, that's what that's from. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's just, it, 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 it's a tasty beer. And honestly, like, that's the thing. Like, when I was saying a macro lager, there's some macro lagers I, I can get down with. And that's where this one kind of went for me. And honestly, like, it, I went for the Vienna malt thing or the Vienna lager thing because the malt ended up coming off a little bit heftier for me. Um, there was a little bit more hopping to, to it. So I was like, okay, we'll go there. But honestly, I could settle on 14 different uh, versions. Keller beer, honestly, for me, obviously it's a different style than Vienna Lager. But I'm not going to say there's leaps and bounds between the two styles. So I'm 1 billion percent okay with everything that I said about this beer. Yeah. So if somebody from Fox Farm is watching this, don't get mad. Don't get mad because I thought it was macro. Because, yeah. It's kind of close, but it's better. Like I said, it w was clean and it had that hefty mouthfeel. And that's your heftier. That's why I flipped the script towards the end and went for a Vienna lager. I could have went Keller beer, a couple different styles because I wanted to make that heft purposeful as opposed to being a corny thing. And But the, the cleanliness, the crispiness, the well-madeness of the beer kind of made me think it was more of a craft thing and then the, the additional hopping on here is really what kind of wanted me to lean in that direction ultimately i did go in that direction i just called it somebody as vienna lager as opposed to a keller beer because it, it, they just don't fucking hop beers like this and and it's not like an overly two by four to the face of hops but for this style of beer it's rather aggressive so let's talk about it is this one of the better keller beers that i've had i was like yeah it's fucking fantastic i love keller beer um, you know, Jack's Abbey makes a great one. You know who makes a really good one? Um, that is like, uh, uh, I guess you would even call it like macro Keller beer would be, God damn it. It's like traditional, it's German, it comes in a green can. God damn, hopefully I forget it before the end of this. I've reviewed it before, just typing Keller beer and it'll pop up. And that shit you can get for like four or five bucks a four pack. And I love that beer. And this kind of reminds me of that. So I should have jumped on the Keller beer thing. So it's damn tasty stuff. Value and availability, I don't know. Max or somebody out there in the old uh, CT? Yeah, the old CT. If you let us know what's what when it comes to value and availability on this and leave you with if you like what we like this. If you like Keller beer, you like Vienna Lager. You like just like uh, not hefty, dense, bocky level lagers and ales, but also you want something a little bit um, heftier than a pills or something along those lines, because that's where this kind of lands. If you like those beers, you like this. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of Keller beer right now. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheers.